sometimes you just have to go for it. The idea of doing the work once and getting paid over and over again appealed to me. The problem was that when I started to research the market, I was overwhelmed by the sheer volume of information that was out there. Some people were making unbelievable claims about how to become a millionaire without doing any work at all, whilst others claimed that it was possible to make a fortune with only minimum effort. Being a bit of a skeptic, these claims and get-rich-quick schemes sounded too good to be true. And as the saying goes, if it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. So I decided to find out more about the internet and internet marketing and attended a number of seminars and workshops. A man had worked as a verger at a church for over 20 years. At the time, the job of the verger was to dig graves, do odd jobs around the church and tend the gardens etc. One day, the vicar came to him and told him that it had been decided that the role of the verger would be changing and that from now on he would be required to keep church records and help with church administration. The man confessed to the vicar that he could not read or write and that he would have to leave. In his spare time, the man had always had a passion for making cakes and pastries, and so he and his wife decided to open a tea room, serving homemade food. The venture was so successful that several years later, the business had expanded to 10 shops around the area and the couple were worth in excess of £8.1 million. The local paper asked to do a feature on the business, and when the man told the reporter his story, the reporter said that's amazing and you've accomplished all this without being able to read and write. Just imagine where you could have been if you were able to read. The man replied, I know exactly where I would be have been, I'd still be digging graves in the local churchyard. 